Wednesday Adams, Ray, I know I don't make any sense right now, but hear me out. When I was watching the new Netflix horror fantasy comedy mystery series Wednesday, I couldn't stop thinking about Ray. Maybe I am a pervert after all, but can you blame me? No, seriously. Maybe it's just me, but I thought it would be interesting to use Wednesday as another example to detail why I would say Ray is a Mary Sue. So if you want to click out of the video now, be my guest. I can't stop you from standing by your opinion. I'm just here to share mine. So let's begin. If you watch movies regularly, you might have heard this a lot of times. Ray is a Mary Sue. Before I start my rant, I think I should clear the air about what a Mary Sue is. So if you type Mary Sue into Google, you will see that Mary Sue means a type of female character who is depicted as unrealistically lacking in flaws or weaknesses, which is pretty on point, I think. So why Ray? What makes her so lacking in weaknesses and how is all this tied to Wednesday? You see, a good story always needs an arc, no matter if it's a positive one or a negative one. And the most important element of creating an arc is to give the character a challenge, something he or she must overcome in order to evolve or regress. And it would be better if this challenge is a direct conflict towards the character's flaw. In this way, the payout of him or her overcoming them will be even more satisfying. If a character has no flaw, then he or she has nothing to overcome, hence no challenges. This makes the story flat and boring. Just ask yourself, would you want to see a movie about a rich guy buying an expensive present? like a car to impress a girl he likes, or a movie about a poor guy struggling his way to make money just to buy a rose to impress a girl that he has a crush on, but I would definitely choose the latter unless I want to watch a chick flick or something, but that if I have to watch a chick flick, I would still prefer one with challenge on the characters instead of one with just good looking boy and girl kissing and fucking so why wednesday reminds me of ray i instantly got this feeling when watching the first episode wednesday is very close to being a mary sue if not for her one fatal flaw in the first episode alone we see she has superhuman ability able to see vision either past or future she is resourceful, able to obtain piranha out of nowhere. She is mentally tough, not scared to stand up to bullies. She is self-confident, has no need for others to validate herself. She is independent, perfectly fine on her own despite being a 16 years old. She is outspoken, not afraid to address something that others will not. She is quick-witted, have an answer for every comment. She is a writer. She walks on her novel. She is a good fencer. She stands on her own against the best fencer in the school. She is also a good fighter, beat three dudes despite being five foot one. Handsome guys, not one but two, fall in love with her instantly despite not being normal or approachable. Able to play cello, play penny black with perfection. And these are just some of the big ones. There are a lot more than you can imagine, such as and She also has perfect grades somehow. Nevermore doesn't usually accept students midterm, but given Wednesday's perfect grades, she is already near perfect being just in one episode. Ray, on the other hand, is not so different. Throughout the trilogy, we see Ray has strong knowledge about technology, has tough and independent mentality, has strong combat skill, has strong pilot skill, 
her strong connection with the force. Everyone loves her. Always make the right choice. Believe in the good of people. So on and so forth. You get the point. But the one difference that makes them so different is that Wednesday got all these advantages because of a flaw. While Ray's flaw is having no flaw at all. Ray's external challenges are basically none. She beats everyone without blinking her eyes. For her, beating a Skywalker or Palpatine is as easy as squeezing green milk from Talasiri. Ray is just magically that good, and if the situation arises, she can get even better. Pretty much like the Hulk, limitless potential. As for her internal challenges, her biggest challenge throughout the trilogy, if the trilogy has a coherent story. It would be her drawn to the dark side, but even at the most pinnacle moment, where the resistance will vanish, if she does not join the dark side, she still resisted without breaking a sweat. Wednesday, on the other hand, her biggest flaw is her inability to connect with others. Don't try and lure me into one of your psychological traps. Her upbringing gave her those abnormal abilities. Which makes her unable to connect with anyone, but it is also this upbringing that allows her to not need these connections. She thought she is just fine on her own, as she can take care of herself just fine. The writers use this flaw to create her biggest challenge, a mystery that she cannot solve alone. She is forced into a situation where her own power is not enough. And at first, she didn't work with others. She tried to do it alone, but to no avail. Then she started to use the people around her to achieve her goals. All of this climaxed at Episode Six, where her actions finally bite her in the ass. She lost everyone sitting in the empty dorm room, finally getting her wish. True solitude. But also, for the first time, she felt completely lonely. But this didn't change her perspective. She continued her journey alone, which made the condition even worse. A friend being wrongly accused and imprisoned by her. At the lowest point, she finally gave up. But her friends still stayed and were by her side. At this moment, she finally opens herself up to embrace the people around her. She eventually solved the mystery by working with others to save the school. One moment that can represent this growth the most is when she uses her body to block the arrow that was meant for her friend. If it was the Wednesday from the first episode, she will no doubt let the arrow kill her friend, as she will think he is killed because he is weak. In the end, Ray's ultimate flaw is being too perfect, and these perfections are not being used as a flaw, while Wednesday did. Both have the tools to deal with the external struggles, but internally, Wednesday has to overcome a big challenge. While Ray just continues to be perfect and ultimately leading to her character being deemed as a Mary Sue, while Wednesday thrives as an instant classic. If you watch to the end of this video, thank you. I know this is not a very well thought out topic, but I just find it interesting. So comment down below. What you think about the video? Do you agree Ray is a Mary Sue? Do you like the journey Wednesday has gone through in the first season? I will see you all next time. Bye. Hold on.